Hello, um, good morning and hi. It's been a long time, almost five months <laughs> since I made a video. And I'm just excited that it is December 1st. So it is the month that Jesus was brought to our world to save us. And um, I'm excited because I have just recognized that making videos is something that I really want to do. Um, and these past few months have just been really crazy and hard for me. And I've really struggled with my weight, with my self-love, with my quiet time with the Lord, with the work, with my community, and I just want to come back and just be on fire for the Lord, um, reconnect with all my friends, not that I've lost them, but just be more intentional, I guess, and just share with everyone my journey I since I started my job I've really lost a lot of my passion for um, ministry and just passion for like sharing the gospel and I don't like that because I should never lose that just because I'm in the business world um, my job has consumed a lot of my time and I've been working long hours so I just coming back from being with my family for Thanksgiving and just like talking and sharing excuse me I just realized I don't have to lose my passion just because I'm at work so I asked everyone if they wanted to start a weight loss um, competition something that I enjoy doing because if other people if I get to motivate other people and I get to be challenged with other people that motivates me I've always said that before like motivating other people motivates me and I've gained some weight since I started my job and that's just like very hard for me very discouraging for me so I'm gonna take this opportunity to be positive about it um, and take it back to the Lord and let the Lord be my strength through this and just recognize what he's trying to do in my life through you know the process of losing weight but doing it the right way um another thing is that i've just super been struggling with my relationship with food i was you know going through this process of giving up sugar or giving up dairy or i gave up coffee just trying to find things that would help get rid of my like headaches and just my stomach problems and this and that and i just felt like i would give up something and then I wouldn't eat all day and then I'd be binging at night and it just was like super not healthy and I just felt like I'd always feel gross and I, I just don't like feeling gross when it comes to food and eating like I just want my body to be healthy so I really like the no sugar idea but I don't like the no sugar fill up on salt because when you don't eat sugar then your body's like or you're like, okay, what what else can I eat? And then you like resort to all this salty stuff. So m moving forward, I'm going, since I'm starting this weight loss challenge today, I'm going to be doing the whole 30. And I really hope that Im that eliminates a lot of my stomach issues and my problems. And it's just better for you in general. So I'm really excited to do that. I just, I just want to feel healthy and I want to feel better and I want to be a positive person and I feel like I really lost that I was watching some of my old videos from the beginning of this year and I was like where's that attitude where where's the positivity Mason like you've lost that like take your own advice um, my my quote or saying for the year was how you feel doesn't determine your actions and I totally let that go because I have been acting in ways that totally reflect how I feel and that was not my intention you know I was supposed to be recognizing something positive in every single day and I am not taking a moment to do that um when I started working long hours at work I stopped getting up and having quiet time in the morning which I have a hundred percent recognized affects who I am as a person and so it's like I just desire that quiet time so much now and I just want to spend time with the Lord so much now and also I 
something else I said in one of my videos was I talked about friendship and community and how important it is and I totally have lost that like my best friend moved to Oklahoma and that was just really hard and challenging for me because I talked to her every day basically before she left we worked out together and I was just able to be honest and vulnerable with her on so many different things that I struggled with and just like working out and it was just she was just such a good person to work out with and so when she left, like, I really just struggled with the working out and the eating right. And and that's, like, it's not an excuse. I'm just telling you that's what happened. So now I'm like, okay, you need to get your crap together because she's here. She's not here anymore. Um, and you don't need anyone but the Lord to, to guide you and push you through anything. So I ended up getting a Planet Fitness membership about a month ago. And I've been going in the mornings. But I still have gained weight. And it just... It's really hard for me. I don't like. Oh, sorry. I don't like being heavy. Um, and I know everyone's definition of heavy is different, but my body image has always been something I struggle with. So when I know I've been this weight, but then I'm this weight, I'm like, let's get back down to this weight. But I want to do it in a healthy way for sure. Um, and I'm just I'm ready for like the journey of. Sorry, there's a piece of something. I'm ready for like the journey and I'm ready to see like the Lord be my strength through it and to just like trust him because it's not going to be easy. It's going to be challenging. It's going to be hard, but like to find the healthy relationship with food and with working out and just the balance, um, in the midst of working all the time, I'm ready to like see him work that through my life. Um, I'm also going to be training starting January 1st. I'm going to be training for a half marathon, which is so cool because running is something that I, it's the most intimate I've ever felt with the Lord and I continue to feel with the Lord. So I'm going to take this training as an opportunity to just grow closer to God. Um, I, I, when I started to enjoy running, like right now I'm struggling because I haven't ran, but once I start running a lot, I enjoy it and when I enjoy running I just feel so close to God and like I feel like I can talk to him and just rely on him and it's just such an intimate thing that I genuinely need in my life so having that is just super super cool um but I also am excited that today is December 1st which is the start of a new month which means any mess ups that you had last month can be forgiven, can be moved on, and start fresh today, which is exactly what I'm doing. I'm taking my own advice. I'm starting fresh today. I'm letting the past month go. I'm letting the past few months go. I have talked to God about it. I am ready to move on, and I'm ready to be the person that he's called me to be, and I'm ready to just take on this journey, and it's going to be hard because I always find like little times of motivation, but then they just go away, and I would rather sleep in my bed. And I just know that I just can't do that. I have to stay motivated and keep the right mindset and just keep pushing forward because I'm too important to the Lord to just lay in my bed. I'm too important to God to waste away the days. He's called me to do something magnificent and I want to live out what he's called me to do. Um, and also I'm excited because I've been seeing all these things on social, on Facebook, because Facebook's the only social media I have now actually. Um, that's probably a new update and it's about reading a book of Luke every single day up until Christmas because there's 24 books in Luke so 24 chapters oh my lord 24 chapters in Luke and so if you read one every day then like you learn about a whole part of Jesus's life and like what he did for us um, up until Christmas so I'm taking on that challenge because I think that's so cool and such an, an easy way to like learn more about Jesus and who he is and what he's done for us um, but yeah I think that's mostly all my updates I I just wanted to like share that I feel like my struggle with food and my struggle with my weight is something that a lot of people can relate to so I just want to talk about it because it's hard it's not easy and I think when I'm doing well in other areas, this is something that the enemy definitely takes advantage of. And I just want, now that I'm recognizing like, okay, this is something I'm struggling with. Like I'm bringing it back to God and like, I'm like, God, you, like, I need you. I want you. Let's like conquer this together. Um, 
so I'm like super excited to to be growing in my faith and growing and like knowing that I can't do this alone and knowing that God is going to provide and be my strength through all of this. Um, something else that, so I gave up coffee before and I think I mentioned that, but I'm also going to be giving it up again because yes, the immediate effects are good and it wakes you up, but the long-term effects are just not good and it just makes my stomach bloated and gives me so many gas stational, I don't even know the word, sorry, that was probably totally wrong. It gives me so many stomach problems and I just... It's just not worth it to me, so I'm just going to get on a better nightly schedule and get seven to eight hours of sleep every night and get up, have my quiet time, go to the gym. I don't know. Like, I've been going to the gym in the mornings. It's kind of hard for me, um, so I don't know if going in the evening is more realistic, but I'm going to start. Oh. So sorry. I really just woke up. Um, I'm going to start going to the gym more consistently so then I can get in shape before I start the training for the half marathon but I think the biggest challenge is going to be like loving myself through either seeing or not seeing results so I just know that God is sovereign he's faithful and he will always love me and lead me in the right direction no matter how I feel um because feelings are deceiving um so that's my update and I know it's been five months but I really want to get back into making videos because I love sharing and encouraging and um, it's just super cool and I hope that people can take something away from it and if not at least I'm getting to talk and ramble and share my thoughts feelings and emotions so um, thank you and I hope you guys have a great December um, a great December first because I'm gonna be back before December's over um, but put up your Christmas trees, wrap your presents, spend time with family, um, enjoy the season because things change so quickly. And I know that I'm very blessed to have both my grandparents. So getting to spend time with them and um, hang out with them is so, so, so cool. So yeah, I encourage you all to put up your Christmas trees and get in the holiday spirit. Um, I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.